In this video, I'm going to show you how relationship fields work. So I'm in my leads app, and let's look at the uh, my lead I have in here. I don't have any uh, relationships set up. Let's we'll see how it works. We scroll down to the bottom. There is nothing here. So now what I'll do is we'll say this lead has responded. So we want to come into the responded app, add a new response. Say they responded today at 12 o'clock. Select the property lead. One South Street responded. You can enter in any information that you get from the response. And then you save. So now, if we go back to the property lead, select the lead, go into details, scroll down to the bottom, you will see that we have a responded relationship set up. And this holds true as you go through each, add each uh, record to a different app, in a different stage of your flow. So now, in the respond, we want to do some more due diligence on this, uh, this lead so we can maybe make an offer. So let's add an item. Select the lead that we referring this due diligence record to. We're working on it. Asking price of fifty thousand. ARV is ninety thousand. Repair cost fifteen thousand. My wholesale fee be five thousand dollars. Percentage be sixty percent. And now max offer will be calculated on the save. And that should be good, so let's save. Close out. Go back in, take a look at the max offer. Oop, that's wrong because this should be 60%. And you usually have to reload the page to see the calculation fields. Effect. So my max offer is $34,000. So let's go back to the lead record and you'll see that that due diligence relationship has been linked. Let's go down to the bottom and here you have is responded on 813. I did my due diligence. If I want to go to this record you can just click on here and you'll go right to the due diligence record. The same thing will work by adding new records to all the other stages of your lead flow. It's a good way to, stat to see the status of everything, and, uh, and that's how that relationship field works. It's pretty simple. You don't have to add anything to the leads record. It just populates with the, any app record that relates to the leads record. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thank you.